Yesterday, I saw a tutorial from Johnny Matthews on how to build a Mobius strip using geometry nodes. And while I enjoyed it and also learned some interesting new stuff, I couldn't help myself from thinking there should be a shorter way to do this. Today, as I was walking in the park, it hit me, and being too afraid of forgetting it, I instantly picked up my phone and recorded a voice memo. Now I'm home and happy to share my discovery with you. Start with a curved circle, convert it to mesh with a quadrilateral curve as a profile. Use a set shade smooth node to sharpen the shading. Also, enable the wireframe overlay in the 3D view. Now, insert a set curve tilt node after the circle. We'll be tilting the curve based on its factor value. The factor range goes from 0 to 1, so the start of the curve will not update at all, while the end will tilt to the maximum amount. Let's set a 90 degrees increment, convert it to radians, multiplied by an integer number that will represent the rotation iterations. Finally, multiply the product with the factor value and feed the result to the tilt amount. If you increase the rotation iterations, you can clearly see that the last ring of polygons flips like crazy. That is because the first and the last ring of edges are still connected together. This is where we part ways with Johnny's tutorial. We will not be splitting the polygons after the curve to mesh stage, but will try to break the circle curve loop before. Using the set spline cyclic node will not work in this instance because it simply deletes the last link of the circle. Instead, we will trim the curve. Until recently, Blender didn't support trimming a cyclic curve. I had to build a custom setup for that, so it's a new and very welcome update to geometry nodes. It will break the cyclic curve, but keep the last polygon segment. If you connect a viewer node to the trim curve, you may not notice much, but take a look at the spreadsheet and you will see that after this node, the cyclic property is turned off and a new point is added. There is just one tiny problem though. The first and the last edge loops don't match together. But don't worry, we'll fix that too. The problem lies with the first and last curve point handles. Currently the curved circle node generates a polygonal curve, meaning no handles at all. Let's convert this spline type to Bezier. Now add a set handle type node with both left and right sides selected and the mode set to Auto. This got rid of the matching problem but also added lots of intermediate points along the curve. To counter that, insert a set spline resolution node and lower the value to zero. Now the resolution is again dependent on the curve circle settings. And there you have it, a perfect Mobius strip alternative. Of course, you can change the profile curve to whatever you need. Let's change it to a three-pointed star. Now we have to update the incremental angle to 120 degrees, which is 360 divided by 3. And the setup still works like it's supposed to. I hope you have learned something new, and if you like the video, share the knowledge.